There's are some great cooks. Pepper they're chili. They're always cooking when you go to visit them and they're always offering up food. Well, they're like, it's, it's intense because you're 24 on and then what, yeah, 48 so you, off right. and, or whatever, the other way around, I don't know. But either way, it's a lot of time to cook and a lot of time working. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so great job. Congratulations, guys. All right, let's talk about this weather out there tonight. Chilly out. No, that, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> it is going to be chilly out tonight. Chilly night, a great night for chili soup. Anything warm, right? Because we do got another cold March evening coming up for us. You're borrowing someone else's line. It's starting oh, to rub off gosh, just a little bit. Let's Sad. talk about moving ahead here. We've got showers coming our way tomorrow night. We've got some chilly showers moving in here Thursday night into early Friday, followed by the chance by what looks to be increasingly likely that we have at least an accumulating snow over the weekend. How much is still up in the air? But I think odds are better than not. We end up with a little snow, especially in the grass this weekend. We'll talk more about that here in just a moment. Outside right now, March sun did its thing today with temperatures pushed us up to 50 degrees. That, of course, is after we started the morning right around that freezing mark. Right now, it's 46 in Wilmington, Blanchester, Mount Orb coming in at 46. It's Loveland and uh, Springboro at 49, 50 in Hamilton and Harrison, 50 around Dale High. So most of us are within, you know, about a degree or two of that 50 degree mark here this evening. We started out with some clouds. The clouds got out of here in a hurry. Now, the weather system we're watching for tomorrow is out here to the west but high pressure kind of keeping it at bay for now. You see what happened with that rain that was over in Illinois. That will change tomorrow. High pressure will break down. This system will be able to advance its way off towards the east. For tonight, though, it's quiet. It's cold underneath partly cloudy to mostly clear skies. Temperatures will get down to around the freezing mark. May even sneak into the 20s out in some of the burbs. So yeah, a freeze certainly expected overnight tonight. Let me show you future cast here. So nothing to worry about when you wake up tomorrow morning. In fact, I think your Thursday should be fairly decent for March. We'll have sunshine early. Clouds will fill in throughout the day. We're still headed for highs in the low to mid 50s, so that should feel pretty nice, right? Now, after 8 or 9 o'clock tomorrow night, you see it right here. Here comes rain. It will overspread the area during dinner time. Not particularly heavy, but it'll make it kind of yucky out, especially with the chilly temperatures that will be in place. And Friday is just going to be kind of dreary and gloomy with on and off little mist drizzle, maybe occasionally a few showers out there as we start the weekend with clouds. Saturday, though, is the better of the two days over the weekend because Saturday will be in between systems. Sunday's weather system looking messy right now. I think it's a mix of rain and snow with the greater likelihood of rain as you head farther south of the river. But the trend has been for at least a light accumulation, especially in the grassy areas. We're getting to that time of the year where it's really hard to get anything to stick on the roads, but we could pick up a couple of slushy inches in the grass on Sunday. So cold tonight, freezing 32 tomorrow, a nice day with rain moving in after eight. We should top out in the low to mid 50. So overall, not a bad day. You won't need the umbrella during the day. So I think the commute's fine. Getting to and from school and work, you should be fine. Here's your seven day forecast. This does not look like the middle of March, folks. Where was this seven day in February when we had 70s all over it? This is certainly looking more like February should have for us. Notice our normal high is 50. Just about every temperature on there is well below normal for this time of the year. And don't forget, we spring forward an hour Saturday night, although you might not want to get up extra early on Sunday with that kind of wintry weather moving in here. All right, Kevin, thanks so much. Coming